Hello friends, welcome back to Reviews by Dennis. Today I got another great audio product I wanted to bring to your attention. Uh, today I'm going to be letting you know a little bit about the Mutrix Bluetooth Audio Sunglasses. Um, this is a really great new to me item that I'm bringing to your attention. Uh, I think it's a, a neat and stylish way to be able to listen to your music. Um, I've done lots of uh, headphone reviews in the past. I've never done one for a pair of sunglasses that were headphones. And I've never heard of this product until um, I you know, found this and uh, decided to um, you know, check out this product and find out if it's right for me uh, or one of my family members or also you know, by going through this and reviewing it, uh, bring it to your attention and find out if it's right for you or not. But uh, anyway, when you first get it, it's going to be in a box that's like this. This is the outer wrap of the box. Uh, again, this is by Mutrix. And uh, on the back, it tells you some information um, about the headphones, such as Bluetooth 5.0. It has, um, it works with uh, Google Siri Assistant. Uh, you can do your hand freeze call like normal. It's got a, a what's called near field sound, surround sound. It has an eight hour play time and it has a 400 UV um, lens. So you got really great lens protection. Uh, once you take that out of wrap off, this is the actual box underneath. So this thing is really well packed when you get it. So you know it's gonna be safe and secure. Um, when I got it, I was just floored when I first opened it to see that this is what the inside of the packaging looks like. It just has a really nice, stylish, over overwhelming, uh, really you know, classy, uh, prestigious look about it. And I just wanted to show you what I saw when I opened it up. Um, so you're gonna get it in in the one box in the bottom here. You're gonna have your charging cable, which this is the charging cable here. It's a USB on one end, and then a magnetic charger on the other end. Let me just show you that up close. And that just sticks to the the, the um, earpiece of it. I'll show you that. And then the other one comes with uh, like a little uh, cleaning cloth, which right here it's got the little Mutrix logo on it. And then it also comes with um, two little uh, pieces. They're like silicone pieces that can fit into the the backside of the glasses. And I'll show you that too. I have one on it right now, and uh, I'll show you how these get put on it. So that way, if you want a little more anti-slip on your head, or you're just looking for a different style look, and then the actual sunglasses itself come in this case. Now this is actually a portable case that you can take uh, whenever you're using or not using your glasses and you can take it with you. Um, I don't have the glasses in here right now. I have them sitting aside and it's got a magnetic closure on it that just simply lifts open and reveals the spot where your sunglasses would be held. Uh, it has a nice velvet interior finish so you know it's nothing's going to scratch your glasses. Um, and the, what's really nice about this is when you're not using this, say you're wearing them you know, while you're driving in the car or whatever, the sides fold in so that this piece can lay flat and again it's got a magnetic on there so it can lay flat so you can put that in your glove box or your console and it's not going to take up a lot of space um, but when you do open that up originally you're going to be greeted by your sunglasses which is also in another case to help further keep them safe uh, so this is a nice drawstring case that keeps your glasses safe and secure inside and let me just take them off here as you see these are the glasses themselves as you see they got a really nice uh, kind of like a bluish tint um, and you might think just because I got glasses on I don't wear sunglasses. I do wear sunglasses a lot of times I like to sit outside in nice cool days uh, I like to read I like to listen to music and stuff like that. So I'll just put these on real quick just to show you what they look like on me and I mean I got a really big head and they fit me with no problem um, All your controls are on the underside here your power your volume up volume down and um, Your charging mechanism is on the left part. So this is where it's going to charge and when you do charge it, you're going to be prompted when it's at 20% power or less to charge it. And it's going to tell you that periodically, auditorily, so that you know that your battery is going to need charging. And that just magnetically, it fixes onto it. So that way you don't have to, you know, worry about, you know, is it secure or whatever. You know it's secure when it's locked on there. And it only goes on one way. You can't put it that way because of the magnet. It's got a reverse polarity, so it tries to push away from it. So you can't mess up how this goes on. And the other end being USB works really well. Um, hooked up to the um, my cell phone, no problem, using the Bluetooth, Bluetooth 5.0. Um, the first time it came up Mutrix on my uh, screen, I attached it and it told me right away that it was connected. Uh, when you first turn on the power, you're going to see right here, you're going to see the little um, blue light that we're used to seeing when you turn on items. And when it's searching, see my 
phone is off right now. It's not doing it. When you're first searching for your Bluetooth spot, it's gonna blink. It's got blue, red, blue, red, and it's looking for a connection. Um, so once that gets that connection, it's gonna blink blue there, and you know that it's on. And your power, let's see if I can show you that. That's your power, volume up and volume down. You also use those for the standard operating procedures for, you know, taking calls, you know, uh, advancing track, turn the volume up and volume down. And these are the earpieces I was talking about. They can either be worn like this, if you want that stylish look, or they can have this on it. And that's this piece right here. And to simply put these on, what you want to do is kind of match the curve of it. And you want to kind of go with a little bit of force, hold your finger behind here, push down and in, and kind of slide and pinch it in there. To kind of push it into place and then just kind of work it around make sure it's nice and even in there and that gives you kind of an anti-slip grip on your forehead it makes it really really tight on your head so that way you don't have to worry about them falling over say you bend down to pick up your keys you drop or something like that you know you're good to go uh, they do sound really good I was really surprised at the um, actually the volume of these things uh, I figured you know they're gonna be just sitting on your face how are you gonna hear them but you actually hear them through the speakers which are right here a little hard to see but they're right here and right here and basically what they're doing is when they're sitting on your head they're right here which is right right about where your ear canal is so you can hear them and I had the volume all the way up and it wasn't ear piercing uh, like you might get for some of the other headphones that you actually put in your ears uh, but it was comfortable enough where I could hear clearly and was able to enjoy the music still by wearing these sunglasses so I didn't have to worry about being blinded by the sun I'm getting good UV protection from the 400 UV protection lenses and I was able to listen to nice music while I was sitting out enjoying the sun watching my garden grow just one other concern a lot of people might might think um, with, with uh, glasses this size they're really heavy but they're really not that heavy I wouldn't say they I mean, when I compare them to my actual glasses, I really don't notice too much of a difference. Maybe these are just a little bit heavier, but, you know, they are secure. They do have these grips on the ears, so they, you know, help with the, you know, distribution of weight. And I just, I didn't really notice anything where it was, like, cumbersome by wearing them. So, that's really it for that. I mean, I mean, you think that being bigger like that, like I said, these are my standard glasses. You see the size of the ear, ear pieces, and these are, you know, those. Uh, just to let you know some, uh, some uh, follow-up information um that came with it so a little bit of literature real nice um thing from purchasing it you get this little card here that um it's like congratulating you for buying their product and they'll um they got a free offer i don't know how long the offer uh stands so you might want to take advantage of it as soon as possible uh basically you're getting a free jbl speaker in one of those colors a little portable like carry around bluetooth speaker uh you know you just gotta send them your order number or the link to your review a uh, screenshot of your full review and then tell them which color you want so that's just a nice little benefit to to this product in itself you know you get another little portable speaker uh you know just for getting something you already had anyway just take an extra minute to do a review like this or whatever or you know a written review on a blog and you're good to go so this is this card here is pretty much the specifications you might want to keep it just a while till you get used to the um operations and how the product operates that's pretty much our list right here if you're familiar with a lot of headphones it uses the standard operating procedures you know like one but button push for up or or a long hold for uh advancing track and stuff like that so until you get familiar with those procedures uh you might want to hold on to this card so that you can get used to them and then on the other side it just tells you the bluetooth uh, specifications such as bluetooth point 5.0 um it uses bluetooth protocol hfp hsp hvrcp spp h a2 dp uh the bluetooth range is up to 20 meters transmission grade is lossless transmission and uh, after the initial pairing the bluetooth will connect automatically which uh, yeah from my experience it does and it has an auto power feature if no connection is uh for five minutes and then it gives you uh standard information about the uh charging uh such as the battery being lower than 20 percent it's going to give you an auditory response every minute letting you know that it needs to be charged uh it's supposed to be charged with a five volt um it's got a 140 mah polymer lithium lithium battery which gives you approximately eight hours play time and approximately seven days standby so that's some really really good information to have from their uh, if you're interested in checking out this product for yourself by mutrix uh check out the link in the description below and thanks for stopping by today here at reviews by dennis take care folks bye bye